But of course, we're going to start with the diamonds. So, let's do this. Alright, all the diamonds have been picked up. It's time to see what we got. Three, two, one. Whoa! Hello, everybody. My name is Mark Evanes, and welcome to another episode on the Plundercraft server. Uh, behind me is something very amazing. So we have to take our Fortune 3 pickaxe, and we need to go mine all of this stuff. So without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> All right, everyone. So here we are. We, of course, we're here at my base. We're going to walk in through this door, and I did a massive, and I mean massive, mining session. I was down there for maybe two hours mining, and I got all of this. Maybe not two hours. Maybe a little less. I would say at least an hour. Uh, right now, I've got iron, oh, gold in here, and I've got iron in there. I've just been slowly lower, slowly raising that. But we have a lot cooking, and we also have a lot here to mine. So, of course, we're going to do our little bit of a speed, a speed run, uh, and just so that we can't cheat, so that we will not know what we get from everything. I'm gonna leave it right there. So, of course, we're going to start with the diamonds. So, let's do this. All right, all the diamonds have been picked up. It's time to see what we got. Three, two, one. Whoa! That is amazing! Two stacks and seven of diamonds. And we're going to add that to our other diamonds that we already have. And that's not everything, everyone. We still have more. We have all of this redstone here. Uh, we had around, uh, I believe it was 62 or 63, sorry, 61 diamond ore. This is four and a half stacks of redstone ore. So we might have to empty our inventory. So I'll just put on my armor. So then the inventory is a little empty there. The rockets I'll put in here so I don't... Oh, I kind of have to take them off of me first. I'll put in here so I don't lose them. We also have some gunpowder when I was mining. I found a, uh, a, a... Whatever they're called. A monster spawner. We got that. But I don't think I have ever seen this thing this full. Look at that. I have a lot of I have a lot of diamonds to turn into uh, into diamond blocks. We have 41 diamond blocks. So just wait till we put all these in. I'll probably keep the 16 and put those as diamond blocks. All right, everyone. It's now time for the redstone. Let's go into our little time lapse. Uh oh guys, this means we have a full inventory. I can't pick up anything more. So I'm just gonna finish it and then we will put this all in our redstone box. All right everyone, so our inventory is full, which means we have to come in here and grab, <laughs> look how full it is. We gotta come in here and grab our redstone box and I'm now I can't eat, of course. It's not all gonna fit. Hopefully, this will all fit, though, in my in my inventory if I just run around like, oh, we're full already, are we? Alright, I gotta run to the shulker, uh, I gotta run to the crafting table and make redstone blocks. There we go. Look at that. Now we have enough space. And... Alright, everyone. So we can see, of course, we have the 64 blocks of redstone. Let's see what our total is. We have, we got from this, almost as much as we got the diamonds there. Uh, this is amazing. We're the only ones on the server. <laughs> oh, uh, there's still more. Oh, no. We're going to have at least like three stacks of redstone blocks. Oh, I just accidentally did something I shouldn't have done. Okay. There's more redstone in here. Let's see how many more we can make. Look at that. I don't even think this can all fit in our redstone box. 
I don't even think so. Maybe it can. We might have to make like a new redstone box that just has redstone blocks in it. But we're still not even done. We still have more over there. Oh, this is amazing, guys. I love doing these mining sessions. But look, our pickaxe is also all fully healed. That's amazing. So let's first off do the coal. And then we'll get over to there. And Oh, it looks like that one's done. So let's do this. All right, we got two stacks and, a, uh, sorry, 64 and 11. So now we can go and put these all in. Looks like, actually, I want to get onto the pickaxe that has to get healed. Oh, that's sad. I was expecting it to just fully heal it. Um, put that rest in there. And boom, we're so close. Look at that. We have so much iron. And we can put that in the iron, iron in our richities as well afterwards. So, let's do the lapis. It's our last thing we have to do. Let's do this. Alright, the moment of truth. Three, two, one. Whoa! That is an insane amount of lapis. That is, uh... We could just do that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks and 50 of lapis. We're going to turn all of this into lapis blocks, just like that. And I believe we can now do this. We can take out our richities because I believe we might have lapis in here. Oops, I don't need to press the button. No, we don't. So we can put that in there and then put that there. And now we're going to make... It's exactly 16 diamond blocks, but we need to leave... Wait, how many diamonds do I have? I have none out there. So what we'll do is we'll leave three diamond blocks. And let's see. Three, two, one. Fifty-four diamond blocks. And we have 27 that we can spend. All right. This is almost done, which is really good. And we have finally finished doing it. So we're about to get the total count of how much uh, iron we got. And I'll turn all of that into iron blocks as well. And I'll turn all of these into gold blocks. Alright, look at this. We can put these in here. And we can put that in there. Move everything over. That can just go up there. But look at this, guys. We have we are getting so much. And I'll turn into coal blocks as well. And soon, in just a minute, we'll be all done. And we'll see the grand total of everything that we got. But look at how much we have gotten so far, guys. It is amazing how much we got. We have now, I think this is, this is of course, the most diamonds I've ever had, which is 54 diamond blocks. And I want to combine this. I want to see exactly how many diamonds we have. All right. Three, two, one. Whoa. This is how many diamonds I own. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stacks and one. And we got to take out. Uh, tw technically 27, but we'll just, one, two, three, there we go. That is amazing, guys. That is insane. I have never had this much diamonds ever on anything. It doesn't matter what it was. I've never had that many diamonds. And this is so close to being done, and our pickaxe is almost all healed up. But I have a lot. I have some really fun stuff that we're going to be doing today. So guys, just get ready. All right. We are now all finished. And I want to take all of the coal out of these because I don't want there to be any coal here. Not until I, uh, I fully move to this base. We can turn it all into iron blocks. And I, we can take these, of course, and turn this into iron blocks because there's more. And now we have a total of... We had the same amount of blocks of diamonds as we did blocks of iron. That's cool. Well, now we don't. But look at that, guys. I th Well, even with the three diamond blocks that I used for spending, we have the same amount of diamond blocks as we do iron blocks, which is amazing. So we can put these into here as well. And I think we are now going to head to Plunderville. And I'm going to show you what we are, what we are going to be doing today. Actually, no, we're not going to head to Plunderville. We are going to head onto my creative test world where I can show you what we're going to be doing today. All right, everybody. So we are now on my creative test world. It's pretty small here and it's different from the last one. I believe I showed video of the last creative test world, but ever since I moved onto PC, I wasn't able to have the same worlds. So we had to move on to this different world, but this is a different thing. It's really funny. 
that's the map that I have as uh, as my uh, map for my portal. And this here is the mail system. So it doesn't matter what you put in it. The light will turn on if there's something in it. And that's basically all it has to be. Uh, so the redstone behind it is very, very simple. All it is is a chest with a comparator, a block, redstone, and redstone lamp. That's all it is. And uh, we're not going to build it out of quartz because I'm not that rich. But that is basically all it is. All right, everybody. So I'm not sure if you guys have fully seen uh, the part of the town hall that I've been working on. As you see here, I, I added a door here. Uh, and I don't know why, but the door and the trap door are different shades. And it, it makes me mad. I don't know if you guys have seen the second floor. If you haven't, I'll give you guys a little tour. Uh, I made this look like it's an old church. I made it look like the church uh, moved to a new location, and this church was then the building was then taken in as a new uh, a town hall. This is where the offices for the co-owners will go. Uh, th so King's office will be here, and then up the stairs. And here, I'm going to do the same thing that I did over to there, and I'm going to uh, make the wall go straight up to where the bottom is. So basically, it's going to be the same as the front, instead of having that weird curve that goes up to the top, like right here. It'll just be straight to the wall. In here will be the archives. There'll be some books and stuff that basically tell the whole history of Plundercraft, and anyone can come up here and visit that, and it'll be really cool. In here will be my office, and we ha I haven't built it yet. All I have is my chair, but I have a painting up there, and I light, I lit up uh, this so that, I could, so that you could see inside the window. And at some point, if you look uh, near my house down that alleyway, you can see that picture, which is really cool. That's what I wanted. But we now have to head downstairs, and that is where we're going to be building this. So we'll see how much materials I have. I don't fully really know yet. But three, two, one. Oh, we're so close. We don't have enough, and I completely forget how to make comparators. So that that's amazing. All right, everybody. So I am now, I believe, yep, I believe I have absolutely everything that I need to make this. Now it's all done. So now if we go like this, the lamp will turn on, which means that mail section right there is done. That was really easy. Um, and I kind of have to really light this place up, but, uh, it'll be really lit up once it's all fully done. But this mail room will look really good, and we can, after we're done, maybe put, like, a lectern or something somewhere saying what this all is. Oh, but I'm not done right here because I ran out of spruce wood, so I asked Daniel, he's online right now. I asked him to stock wood so then, uh, so then I could maybe have wood to use this for. Uh, up to here, up to here, it doesn't fully matter because there's going to be stuff there. But we can go like this. Oops. Just like that. And I believe that should be enough as well. Look at that. And we go like that. This is actually so very easy to set up. And I'm really glad that we're going to be able to do this because it is just... It's bringing mail to all of the plunderers. Look at that. He even asked what kind of wood. Spruce. And I want to do the same for this one because I kind of want to leave that window not, you know, with that. I don't want there to be it to be connected to stuff. But just like that, 
Now we put in the block, the lamps, and then it will be done. Look at that. And in three, two, one, boom, it's done. The mail room is now already done, and it did not take... Oh, wait, no, it's not. I forgot to put the comparators in. Oh, of course. Oh, I have to break all of the chests and do that now. All right. Well, comparator, 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 comparator. Boom, 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 boom. I missed one. <laughs> boom. There. Now we can go like this. And it works. Boom. Look at that. Both sides. And we'll just put a torch right there. Both sides of the mailroom are now complete. Now all I have to do is get a whole bunch of signs and put everybody's names on it. And don't worry. Everybody is going to get one of my diamonds. Well, any everybody who doesn't have that many diamonds is going to get a diamond block. Because I want to give back to all the plunderers. For everything that they do on the server. So, uh, we can now pack up here. And I don't know why I picked up my thing. Because I I, I needed to put it, all this stuff back. Uh, just da, 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 da. And look at that. We I made a whole bunch of more of those. So now we have a whole, a whole bunch. Uh, what else do I need to put back in there? I don't think there's anything else. So... It looks like that is all. And I'm really happy with how this mail room turned out. Uh, once Daniel restocks the spruce wood, that is when I'll be able to fully put that back. And I can take all this stuff out of my end chest now. There we go. And. Boom. And now I'll just clear out. And I'm going to go on a, other, on a different time. And I'm going to go and name all of those. But anyways, guys. I know this is probably going to have been a short episode. But anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, slap the like button silly in the face like there is no tomorrow. Haven't said that in a while. If you have not done so, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button to join Team up for d And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye!